So we've learned that the table feature in Excel is really neat. If you make data table with control T and you add new rows to your data, your formula is based on the table will update automatically and so will your charts. But copying formulas involving tables is a little bit tricky. So we have some sports data. We have the team the player played on and we have the position. Don't worry about the rest of it. All I want to do is count how many players on each team played each position. So that's a count FS, right? So I'd go count FS. Okay, and the first range might be the team. So I'd go there, and then in this case it should be the Knicks, and I want it to copy the team that it picks off. So I'm going to have to dollar sign with F4 the A, right? Okay, and then I want the position. And that's good. And the position should match what's in, in this case, row 14. So I need to dollar sign the 14. So the 15 is going to change to a 16. The B is going to change to a C. And I think that will be right. How many Knicks play power forward? Okay, that's four. Okay, now suppose I drag this down and across. Okay, I'll just drag it across for now. It's not working. Why not? Because when I drag it across, okay, it's going to basically change. What we had was the position column changes to age, and the team column changes to the next column, which is game. And if you look across, it's dragging the columns across. Okay. So it's basically when I tried to drag it to the right like that, like we usually do, it didn't work. But... If I would copy this with control C and select it like this down here with control V, it's going to work, which is just wild. Okay, see, there we go. Now I've got the right number of players, each position in each team. So, like, if I look here where it's shooting guards for the Knicks, okay, it's still using the team column and the position column, and it's changing. It's got the Knicks here and changed the position. One more here, okay, C. No Durant now. Okay. We'd look in the team column. Does it match OKC? And does the position column match shooting forward? And that's just crazy. But it, it's important to know that if you do control C, control V, here you would get the result that you want. Okay, so thanks for watching, and, and there's a free course, a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston, um, and all of these videos are coming from one of three books. So first, this one, which you can see here at the top of the screen, um, Microsoft's book, which has 355 reviews, uh, and then it's, let's see, 4.6 stars. Um, it's coming from this book as well, his marketing analytics book, which is down here, and you can sort of see 4.5, or his newest book, his analytics stories book which is here, and with that one, you can see it's four point something, or maybe even five. I don't think it's five. Yeah, 4.8. And so, yeah, anyways, in the description, there's a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston, um, or you can go to excelwithwayne.com slash free, and it'll be there. But again, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, just uh, please let us know. Thanks.